Welcome to Cooking with James. Let's get cooking. Welcome back to Cooking with James. I'm your host, James. Uh, before we get started today, I just want to give a couple shout outs. Um, first of all, to Milzy, um, who's been helping me promote my video and doing you know, comments and all that good stuff. So, big shout out to you. Also, the other shout out is uh, going to be for Everyday Barbecue. This guy's doing some flipping amazing stuff using the Blackstone griddle. Um, I mean, cheese steaks and I mean, just all kinds of stuff. So, um, if you're a subscriber to my channel, um, you can check out the videos that I like, tons of them. You know, he's in there, it's Everyday Barbecue. And also thanks for the hookup, Everyday Barbecue, for the Facebook. If anybody likes cooking and wants to talk about it, there is on Facebook, I think it's called Everyday Barbecue Friends or something like that. I just joined last night. People are amazing, awesome, and nice. Um, so anyway, um, that's that. So let's go ahead and get into uh, what we're doing today, which is whole chickens. <clears throat> All right, now, I've actually got four of these. I got two more of the cooler still brining, so I'm gonna kind of explain real quick what we're doing. We're going to uh, just we're gonna inject two of these with some creel butters and creel seasoning on top, and we're gonna do some uh, sweet and then sweet and spicy on some of the other ones. So anyway, that's the chicken and stuff, and um, I'm gonna grab all the ingredients, get them all up here and stuff. I'll, we'll be right back in a minute. Alright guys, we're back. Um, I'm going to explain real quick what we did. Uh, we got one of the chickens here. Like I said, I have four. So what I did is I used a brine, an overnight brine. So uh, what you're going to want to do is use three quarters cup uh, kosher salt and half a cup of sugar for every gallon of water that you need to cover your chicken, whether it's breasts, whole chickens. It uses, you know, works on a lot of stuff, but that's what that's the mixture, and um, you know, obviously that's the calculation. So do what you will with it. But uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and start injecting this stuff. Oh yeah, one last thing is after you get them out of the brine, rinse them off, obviously, and then uh, pat dry them, and then that's where we're at right now. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into the injecting process. Got a simple injector here, you can buy them for a few dollars at the grocery store. So we got that. <clears throat> and this, what I'm using here, is Creole butter, all right? And they didn't have the one that I usually use, so I got, uh, this is kind of what it looks like. It's this one's by Zavarin's. Never used it before. We're gonna give it a shot. It's just Cajun injection, Creole butter, you know, a lot of seasoning and stuff in there. I usually use a Louisiana something or other. They didn't have it, but uh, which is good. So we're gonna give that one a shot. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, start this process. So what you're gonna want to do is uh, fill your syringe with the Creole butter, and you just get into the breast. Just get right down in there, and then you'll give a little squirt. You'll pull out a little bit. A little squirt. A little squirt. You'll actually see the chicken breast start to plump up. Every couple of inches, just go down and just inject it. Put it there. And the last part of this. Um, this is up to you, you don't have to, but I like to also do the uh, legs and you can see that juice big bubble pocket right there nothing but flavor that's just gonna help get you more juices keep it moist so uh, that's the injection part um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and uh, season so I've got some olive oil here so just a little bit of olive oil just drizzle a little bit on there you don't need much and then uh, brush hand whatever you want to use and just kind of coat it it's gonna help with the with the darkening of the skin also, because um, we're gonna be cooking actually at a lower temperature today, about 225 to 235 degrees. So um, it's important to have something to kind of help you uh, crisp your skin up. Turn it over. Backside's not really that important, but I do want to get some on there. All right, so that's looking good. And uh, last part of this prep is go ahead and just uh, season these things up. Right, which uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Tony's Creel on this. I ran out of my other Creel seasoning, but this is still good stuff. Um, then just give it a you know, light coat. And then I'm gonna use my stuff that I threw together. Um, I'm really liking this stuff. It's been a few weeks now. Um, he's done quite a few things. Turned out really good. Uh, once I get this thing perfected, I can kind of give you guys an idea of you know how many parts of this and how many parts of that for the rub, but still just throwing stuff together. So anyway, that's that. <clears throat> Flip it over. This side, uh, repeat, same process. Tony's first. Every nook and cranny. 
And then my seasoning here has you know, a little bit of that. That's got some uh, some salt and some pepper. I'm um, so is the Creole stuff, but it's got some other flavors that I really like in it. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's that. And uh, before I put it on, and you just want to take these wings. This is what I do. Take the wing here, just kind of. If this will cooperate, stick it in the back under there like that. Make it look a little more uniform. Um, and you're good to go. So that's uh, that's what we did. We brined for 12 hours overnight, rinsed it off, patted it dry, a little bit of oil. Um, you can use something else if you like. And then season it up and we're ready to go. So this one's done. I got three more to do. I'll do those off camera. I'm gonna do them the exact same way. I'm just gonna use a little uh, different injector on uh, two of the other ones. I'll let you know what that is here in a little bit, but uh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, it's been 30 minutes since um, I've seen you last, not for you, for me. Uh, charcoal is done, the pit's ready to run right about 230 degrees, perfect. So I'm gonna grab the chicken. I left it in the fridge. I don't want it to get too warm, so I left it in there. I'm gonna grab it and I'll meet you out at the pit. All right, so we're out um, at the pit. Got the chicken here. Uh, as you can see the temperature, we got 228. Here, so I'm gonna open this thing up. Got some great smoke going. Um, these two are the Creole butter. These two I did just brown sugar. One cup of brown sugar, one cup of pineapple juice, and one cup of chicken stock. You can use chicken broth if you like, but I use stock. So we're gonna go ahead and place these things right on here. So we are on, good to go. There's four, uh, four whole chickens seasoned, ready to go. Um, all we're gonna do now, guys, is uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop the, the top on this and we'll check it in probably about an hour and a half and I will let you know exactly how long it was. See you soon. All right, guys, it's been one hour since we put this chicken on. Having to open the top or even checked on it, our temperature uh, right now we're at 238. We've actually been smoking right around 235. I would say probably be about the average temperature. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Woo Look at that. One hour in. Those things are just looking good. Just sitting purdy. Oh yeah, I was thinking it'd be more color on this side, but uh, no, for the firebox. But psh, man, let me separate this just a little bit. Perfect. A little bit here too. Oh yeah, a little separation. Um, yeah. All right, man. We're one one hour in. Uh, two. I'm gonna say 235 degrees is our pretty much our average temperature. We had some lows about 230, high about 240, but pretty consistent right around 235 degrees. So um, <clears throat> this is this is looking awesome. All right, man, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, drop the top real quick on this thing. And uh, we'll probably give this one, since it's doing so good, probably about another hour and a half before uh, we actually check it. So uh, we'll see you soon. All right, guys, we are another hour and a half from the previous. So we're actually a total of two and a half hours in. Um, haven't peaked at them, so we're going to check it out. Let's see what we got. And actually, temperature's still running good. We're, you know, we're right at 231. I did hit a high of about... 245. I'll open up the damper a little bit, but uh, let's open this thing up. Man, those birds look amazing. I want a bird, bird, bird. My birds are wet. Look at that. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, I am going to go ahead and you know what? I forgot my temperature. Uh, internal temperature checker and so I got these probes I want to put in a minute so I'm gonna grab that um, I'll be back in just a second so I'll see you in just a second all right guys uh, I just had to grab my internal thermometer here so in between that I also um, it's got four probes so I checked all the meat with the probes and um, so I got three additional probes I put one in each one of these three chickens this one was running about 140 uh, actually look you look down here so 145 for the back corner, 137, 134. So we're looking awesome. This is going to let me know um, <clears throat> what I want to put that final little glaze on it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it's looking, uh, I don't know if you can see, but the, oh, the skin's starting to crisp up a little bit. Awesome. When we put that final glaze on, that's going to crisp up really good. And then uh, we want to take them to between 165 and 170 and we'll pull them off. So 
I'm going to drop this top. I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. We are uh, about 4, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 hours in now. So it's actually been another hour, a little over an hour. And our temperature on our chicken is looking awesome. I mean, uh, the one in the top left is 162, 161, 157. Pit temperature is 248. It's been rising. Um, we've had some serious wind out here. So anyway, that's that. I'm going to open this up real quick. Oh man, so what up? Look, these juices in th inside of the chicken cavity are just resting. That's awesome. So, these back ones over here, I got the glaze uh, that I injected it with. I'm gonna go ahead and baste these. Now, don't use, if you're gonna do this, don't, don't use the stuff that you put the injector into. Just save a little bit on the side so you can do this. That's awesome. So this is the brown sugar glaze. Oh yeah, that gives it some more color and softness. Oh man, I can just tell. That skin look dry? Don't look dry anymore. Look at that. I mean, I'm just gonna drizzle this on a little bit. So kind of, you've seen the before shot, this is an after shot. So look, that glaze, it's gonna moisten that up a little bit. Now on this one, this is the Creole butter. The same thing, don't use. Uh, whatever you, the injector stuff, you know, save a little bit of the butter for the side. You don't wanna get anybody sick, you know, sticking the injector into the chicken and into the butter and whatnot. You know, put a little bit aside. This is, you know, not been touched by anything. So we're gonna go ahead and freshen this up a little bit right here, because we're super close. And this is gonna give some extra flavor to the skin. It's actually gonna make it a little, it's looking pretty damn crispy. I know it's dark to you guys, but wait till you see the, ooh, that butter spills delicious. Oh my gosh. All right, so we are covering all of this in whatever we injected it with. And remember, set some aside. Don't use the injector stuff that you did. Set some aside. You don't want to get people sick. All right, so we're good there. Oh man, I got a little bit more over here on this. Yeah, I'm just drizzling this stuff on here. There we go. Man, all right, cool. All right, so our temperatures back here. I just want to get one reading real quick to see how, because we're, so we're sitting at 162. For that back, that back chicken, um, as you can see, the temperature outside is 106 degrees. It's hot. I think it's like 110 today. Let's see. Oh, and that's going to continue to go up and up and up. So we'll wait. And because we want to get an accurate reading. So what's that say? 153, 154, and the probe. And I'm right by the probe. So let's see. And we definitely don't want to take this out before it's done. I'm going to poke by this probe here and see. So where are we at here? See that one? Oh, there we go. So we're up by the pro. All right, gotcha. All right, so what we're gonna do now is take a temperature over here. So we're probably a little less over here, I'm guessing, man. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to, uh, I'm gonna turn this chicken real quick. So I'm gonna fit this face in this way. I'm gonna go and face it this way so it catches more of the heat. That will catch up with this. We probably got about another hour to go on these on these birds. Well, a bird, 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 the birds are wet. And then we'll be done. So I'm gonna flip these this way and then um yeah about another hour or so and we'll all we'll be at temperature so we'll see you guys in a minute all right guys so we're just a little over an, an, another hour since the last check and you can see here pit is still running at 239 uh, we're looking at 167 166 168 it's looking perfect so i'm gonna i'm gonna open it up and we're actually gonna check for the internal temps on these things oh man okay so i glazed them all and it's got that nice bark and it's uh oh it's crisping up too i like that oh that's awesome so what we're gonna do man we're gonna turn on the uh for the internal tip i just want to make sure on this that we're right around these temperatures so i'm gonna oh that's butter so let's see what's that say 169 we're good we are good i already checked the other side that's probably a little low what's that one say 163 we can give that a little bit more okay so we're probably good there that one's butter. I know that one's got to be 170. Gosh, that was butter. I was thinking a little more on that. Let's check this other side. 160. Okay, so that one, this one's definitely done. This one over here. All right, so what we got right here, folks, is this one up here, which I know this back <clears throat> top left corner is a little hotter. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take that one off. We'll take it in the house. Um, I'm going to cut it up in a little bit. We'll see you then. All right, guys, we're back. So here's the end product on this one that's done. The other ones will be done probably like 20, 30 minutes. Um, but I just want to kind of show you what's happening here. Um, this chicken is, uh, I can just tell, it's uh, it, its looking amazing. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to let it sit for about 
10, 15 minutes, and then we're gonna chop it up. I'm gonna show you how to, how to carve it, and then um, I don't have to show you how to eat it because you know how to do that, but uh, we'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back, and we are done. It's five and a half hours for this chicken right here. We've got 30 minutes for the other chickens to be done, but they're all gonna turn out this magnificent. I mean, um, you can see the juices, and um, they're flowing down. The, the, I mean, they're just they're dripping everywhere. So we're gonna show you how to properly <clears throat> carve a chicken also, what I like to do. Um, and the chicken actually will kind of tell you as far as uh, where to cut. Oh my God, look at that. Can you see all that? <laughs> Those juices in there. This thing is literally soaking in juices, wow. So this leg leads to um, the thigh and what you're gonna wanna do is kind of dig in there a little bit. And uh, this is gonna help you get a, uh, a quarter. And just you kind of follow the bone and then back there's a kind of a joint back there. And uh, once you reach that joint, you just cut right into the joint. It should be pretty easy, which it is. All right, and then, uh, yeah, then you got your leg quarter. So same to the other side here. Cut right into that, oh my gosh. Look, look at this stuff. I mean, you, you can't make it up because it's realistic. <laughs> and this is happening right now. So you just kind of follow the bone back to where you can kind of feel, I mean, Another awesome leg quarter right there. Look at that. So you got your two leg quarters right here. The wings, um, those are super simple. You just kind of get right back behind. So, and it's just a, <clears throat> it's a joint. I got juices falling everywhere. So here's your wing. You can tell some of the meat came off, but I'm gonna get into the uh, to the breast because I know that's what you guys want. So here we go. Um, this is right into the breast. Let's see. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh man, when I when I press it, it just starts separating. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'm gonna cut some thin slices over here for you guys so you can just kind of see uh, the skin. Oh, hold on. Mm, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't get through all of it. I had to taste some. This right here is chicken breast at its finest. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but this is where we inject it and you kind of see everything's perfectly done. You got your moistness. Now the skin it is crispy. I mean, the skin is very crispy and good. And uh, let me just see. I mean, uh, the juices are kind of in. I don't know. That's kind of the middle of the middle of the breast. So let's go ahead and take a bite. I'm gonna a little bit of the skin too. Just let's see. <laughs> That's awesome. This will not disappoint anybody. I promise you, check this out real quick before we go. No pressure on the knife, right here. No pressure at all. And you're just gonna hold it and just, I mean, it goes right through. I mean, literally, I'm just holding the knife and moving it back and forth. Juices. Mm. That smoke flavor is amazing. I can't wait to get these other ones out here. Oh my gosh. So I just want to say thank you for, uh, or to all of my subscribers for checking my videos out. These chickens were awesome. If you follow this, um, then you're going to, you know, end up with some amazing chickens. We ended up with uh, about 235 to 240 on the temperature on average. Uh, some pecan, little mesquite, very small. And at the end, kind of just threw some, uh, threw some hickory in there. But this turned out so good we're gonna go ahead and plate you guys something up but uh yeah, special thanks to all my subscribers um we appreciate you and um yeah we're done here i'm gonna play some stuff and on the outro you guys can see what we're done or what we're doing and then uh yeah we'll see you on the next episode